Homecoming week is by far the most proud and spirited week on the university calendar. This has been a flurry of events, one right after another, and we at Daily Iowa TV took the time to cover as many of them as we could. UI students show their Hawkeye pride by participating in activities ranging from dodgeball to giving blood. Organizers this year are expecting around 200 students to donate, one of them being yours truly. We'll find out if Hawkeyes actually do bleed black and gold. It's not all about fun though. The Iowa Homecoming Council has its own reasons for picking out this year's activities. So that's one of our main focuses this year is to kind of try to get more community involvement. We really wanted to target our events towards things that could involve both the students and the community. Um, we've done that so far. Thursday is more of targeted towards the students just because it's more of the people that are participating in the competitions during Homecoming Week. That's not all though. This year's homecoming is groundbreaking because it features the first ever gender inclusive homecoming court. It's kind of going back to the inclusive part of just making homecoming something that everyone can enjoy. We wanted to make sure that we were targeting all aspects of that and um, why not be one of the first organizations to try and help. Now just because it's Friday, don't think the festivities are over just yet. There's plenty more to come. Isn't that right Ryan? That's very true Chris. We have three events coming up tonight in fact. We have the homecoming parade homecoming coronation, followed by a concert that will be taking place right here on the Pentacrest. For more information, feel free to visit the homecoming website. Reporting from the Old Capitol Terrace, this is Chris Cervantes and Ryan Scott, Daily, Daily Iowan TV. TV.